So in today's video, we're going to be talking about how you can come here to study nursing without a healthcare degree, a science degree or anything of that, but you can still study nursing at the master's level. I've gotten this question from a lot of you, so I decided to do a full video on this topic. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're seeing me for the first time, hello, my name is Fora. So if you've not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button, turn on your notification bell, give this video a thumbs up. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Hi guys, so in this video, I'm going to be talking about how you can come here to study nursing without a healthcare degree or a healthcare background, how you can study nursing in master's level without uh, with a non-science degree. I've got a lot of this kind of question from you guys and I decided to do a video on it. I decided to do this full video on it. So is it possible that you can come here to study nursing without a healthcare background or without, you know, even a science degree? And my answer is yes. You can do nursing in master's level without a healthcare degree. The most important thing is you have a first degree at least and a YX certificate you can study not so if this topic is interesting to you and it's something you want us to talk about grab a cup of coffee graphic English grab a cup of coffee and let's talk about it I've gotten lots of lots of questions from you guys is nothing a very good is nothing a good route to set so is it true that nothing is hot cake now i've gotten so many questions in my dms or people leaving in the comment section and i decided to talk to you about it yes if you've been asking is nothing a quick route to settle in the u.s yes as you know the uk is high demand of healthcare workers right now due to the COVID-19 and the Brexit there's a lot of shortage around the healthcare sector so the UK is in shortage of healthcare workers and they are rapidly recruiting healthcare workers even if you get your degree outside the UK all you need to do is write a few exams here and there and you could be on your way with a work visa in the UK and in case you don't know recently the UK also added uh, support workers into its occupational list that is to tell you how important coming here to study nursing is because if you study nursing here in fact even before you graduate jobs will be there waiting for you yes and you can actually come here to study nursing without a healthcare background without a, a, a healthcare degree or even a science degree the problem is do you know your capacity are you able to pass their exams because nothing is a very very critical cause and is a very i think it's a difficult cause if i'll say it's for people that know their what upstairs up upstairs so are you intelligent enough to pass this exam because they have exams they have tests they have a lot of you know placements they have a lot of activities around the nursing degree so are you able to pass this course that's what you should be asking yourself now that is not to say that nothing is you know higher than any other course but i'm just saying it's really challenging when it comes to academic so you must really really be ready to um study for this course to be able to you know come here not like you just hear oh it's a good way to come here and settle because once you're done jobs are waiting for you you don't really need to work hard to get the job jobs there because probably the place where they even post you for placement we even ask you once you're ready please come and work here for us so jobs are already waiting for you so you hear that and you run and start you know applying for nursing without without even asking yourself or oh, will i be able to do it is it something i have passion for is it something um I'm, I'm willing to put my time to because one thing i believe is there's nobody that is not intelligent everybody's intelligent the only problem is are you willing to put in the work that is the only problem if you're willing to put in the work everybody or anybody can you know study that particular degree that they want to study okay so for you to study nursing here in the uk you don't need a science background you don't need um, a healthcare background these are not like compulsory as long as you have a first degree in any course be it architecture be it theater arts any course as long as you have a first degree you have at least two to 
okay so but if you have a healthcare background like you did anatomy physiology all those health public health all those health related costs it can be at advantage to you but even if you don't have don't worry yourself there's a lot of schools also that are there to accept you without your healthcare background do you understand so one thing you have to know is nothing right now is highly competitive. A lot of schools are rejecting international students. I don't know why. Then it's not really easy to get into it like every other courses. Um, so have that at the back of your mind. But it doesn't mean that they're not taking people. They are, but you have to, you know, apply for, keep applying, keep applying until you find the school that is right for you. So you have your degree, you must have at least minimum two, two to be able to apply for nursing. You must have at least minimum of two, two. But if you have a third class, make sure you have a PGD, right? You have a PGD to back it up. There are some schools who will even accept you with a third class, but you have a postgraduate diploma to be able to back that your third class up. That's when they are, they will accept you. So don't you know allow your third class to be you know of a barrier to you or to say oh I have a third class so I can't go further. No, you can't. All you need to do is do PGD and back your third class up, and you'll be able to you know apply for any school that's really i'm sure there are schools like uclan that's accepting people with third class and a postgraduate and there will be other schools if you do your research yes and the next requirement is you must have 700 hours of work experience so you must have worked in the healthcare sector for 700 hours so some company some schools like i'm um, so for the heart need 750 some other schools need 550 some need 400 so it depends on the school you're applying and you must show evidence that you've worked for this as be it voluntary work be it paid work so i'm i will say to you if you have like um if you have a plan of coming here to do nursing, um, you should go to any healthcare center, hospital, and start getting that eight hour, uh, 700 hours. Imagine you work for 10 hours a day, 10 hours a day. In three months, you will be able to accumulate you know, 700 hours. And then these people that you've done the 700 hours for, they'll be able to give you um, a letter saying that you've done the 700 hours. For your work, most of the schools, they are collecting C4 for mathematics and C4 for English. So if you don't have C4, I don't know about that because most of the school I've researched while I was, you know, if you know I'm an agent, I also help people to get admission. And most of the schools I've been doing, they all need C4, C4 for um, nursing. A few need C5, but very, very minimal. Most of them need C4. So C4 for your YX. So you get your transcript ready. Most of these schools, they do not need your original transcript. All they need is your student copy. For example, for me, I didn't have to bring my original transcript while I was applying for the course I did. I did not do nothing, okay? Um, I just used my student copy. So most of the schools in UK, all they need is your student copy. So just get a student copy and upload it for them. As long as it's genuine, is correct, they are ready to... You know, accept okay. you've passed all their requirements and you get the admission. They have interview stage where they'll call you to ask you about your passion, to ask you about different questions. You can look around YouTube or if you ask me to do some questions, that uh, possible questions that will come out during your nursing interview. I'll do a video on that. They'll ask you about a lot of things. And then if you're able to, if you scale through the interview, process then you you find your way you know processing your visa to come to the uk to study nursing and um also don't forget your personal statement is very very important you have to write a comprehensive and loaded personal statement to be able to scale through you know telling them your your passion and and your 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 purpose why you decided to study this nursing degree and one of the things i've noticed students do when writing personal statement just write one personal statement that upload it to all schools no that's not how to write personal statement when you are doing your application pay attention to the area of the personal statement this the school will always ask the school will always tell you what they need 
in your personal statement so every school you have to tailor your personal statement to suit the need of that school don't just write personal statements and upload you know one personal statement for all the school except when you get to that personal statement stage the school doesn't have anything there they just said upload your personal statement then you can upload the one you've written for yourself but if not make sure you read that small line they keep around personal statement so you know what they actually need you to have in your personal statement before writing the personal statement for them then you see you upload it and you get ready to you know you get ready for your uh, um, interview you do your interview you skip through you get your cars and then you apply for your visa and you're here to study your nursing a master's level and master's level um nursing takes 24 months so that is two years to get a master so regular masters are like one year um maybe one and a half year for some masters but masters in nursing takes two good years to study masters in nursing and also masters in um social work so a lot of um healthcare related uh, masters always you know come two years and the fees depend on the school probably i'll do a videos on um the cheapest schools um most affordable schools to study nursing so some schools they have like thirteen thousand some school are fifteen thousand some are ten thousand depend on the school you find yourself in you know the school you find yourself in i hope this video helps you i hope i was able to cover all the information you need in this video if there's any question i did not cover please 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 ask me in the comment section let me know and i'll be willing to do a video to help you through this process until i see you in another video bye bye